Welcome to the first of our series of lectures on the history of the computer. This series is based on a documentary titled The Machine That Changed the World in 1992. It was written and directed by Nancy Lind and produced by WGBH Television of Boston, Massachusetts and the British Broadcasting Corporation. Backers included the Association for Computing Machinery, the National Science Foundation, and the Unisys Corporation. It is a terrific video and includes actual interviews with some of the people who were instrumental in the evolution of the computer. We begin this series of lectures with a question. Why is it called a computer? The answer to that lies in the original intended purpose of the machine. It was created to do calculations. In the light of how it is used today, it's difficult to understand that anyone could have had such a limited view of this powerful machine. But when the first efforts were made in the 19th century to create a machine that could do calculations, that alone was a major accomplishment. The reason it's called a computer is at that time, a computer was a person who did calculations not a machine as we know the term today. It was not until much later that brilliant people like Alan Turing and later J.C.R. Licklider began to explore the incredible potential of what was originally a device to simply do calculations. And creating a mechanical computer was exactly what this man wanted to do. He is Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, 1792 to 1871, was a British mathematician who became frustrated with the tables that were used at that time to perform calculations, such as the logarithm tables. We're talking about a period of the Industrial Revolution, a time when incredible achievements were taking place, most of which required complicated mathematics and the use of tables like those. These tables were actually created by human computers and were prone to errors. So Mr. Babbage acquired government grants to fund a project to build a mechanical computer. His first effort was this machine that he named the Difference Engine. This machine is completely mechanical, not electronic like the machines today. And it used a technique called the Method of Differences. Mr. Babbage was successful with the Difference Engine, but before finishing its design, he had already come up with better ideas. We're going to see that trend happening quite a bit in the study of the history of computers. He began immediately working on another machine called the analytical engine. Unlike the difference engine, the analytical engine could be programmed to perform certain functions. Normally, a machine is designed to perform some specific task. An airplane flies. An automobile carries passengers down the road. Have you ever seen an automobile that flies? Well, actually, I have. But imagine a machine that is built with no particular function in mind. Do you realize that a modern computer is like that? It is manufactured according to some standards, but what it actually ends up doing depends on what program the user decides to load. There's never been another device like that. And Charles Babbage was the first person to try and design a machine that could be programmed for different functions. The question then is, how did he do it? Babbage borrowed an idea from a weaver named Joseph Jacquard. Mr. Jacquard used punch cards to create complicated designs in cloth. He even designed a set that would weave his own picture into cloth. Here you see an image of Mr. Jacquard and another of his loom. Babbage thought that he could also use punch cards to create different programs for his analytical engine, and that's what he did making it the world's first programmable machine. Do you realize that we continued using punch cards and computers until the 1960s and 70s? Actually, Charles Babbage never built an analytical engine. The one you see here was built in 1910 according to Babbage's design. Here you see a really interesting character in the history of the computer, Ada Countess of Lovelace. Her father was Lord Byron the poet. The Countess and Charles Babbage struck up a friendship during which she became fascinated by his analytical engine. 
There are even letters between her and Babbage in which she had written some programs for his analytical engine. For this reason, Ada, Countess of Lovelace, is considered the world's first programmer. So this marks the beginning of the mission to create that machine that changed the world. It started around the middle of the 19th century by a British mathematician named Charles Babbage, who built the difference engine, the world's first calculating machine. As a result, Charles Babbage is considered by many to be the father of the computer. No sooner than he had done that, he designed the analytical engine, which was the world's first computer that could be programmed. He used the idea of the punch card borrowed from Joseph Chicard and his loom. We also found out about Ada Countess of Lovelace, the world's first programmer. All this took place almost 200 years ago. And then not much happened for almost another hundred years. And we'll talk about that in the next lecture. Let's take a break here to look over our notes and make sure that we got all the facts straight. When you are ready, come back for the next lecture on the Giant Brains episode of the Machine That Changed the World documentary.